Hey guys and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Today we'll be installing the rear cover for the back of the engine block. This is the LS1 going into my C5 Corvette. Uh, I've got a new gasket that we'll install uh, as well as a new rear main seal. And I've got a tool that we'll use. This is from Sac City Corvette. Uh, we'll use that to align the rear cover um, and we'll also use it to drive in uh, the new uh, rear main seal. So to get us started, uh, let's grab the new gasket. As you can see, there's a particular way that this uh, installs. The other thing we'll want to do uh, before we put the uh, cover on, so the back corner, so we've got the oil pan, the engine block, and this rear cover coming together, um, and we create kind of a three-dimensional seal uh, here at the back corners. So we're also going to install a little bit of RTV in these corners to make sure we get a good seal and that this doesn't become a path uh, for oil to leak. And I've already pre-wiped this down, but uh, if you haven't, certainly that would be one of the first things you want to do. Make sure this is a good, clean, uh, uncontaminated surface. Make sure there are no contaminants on your new gasket. Lightly set this in place. And then we'll put the timing cover over it. And we'll put in a couple of bolts, just finger tight, to hold it in place. Okay, now we'll use our align it tool. Um, there's an O-ring on, on the inside and on the outside. Make sure you smear just a little bit of uh, motor oil on those so that you don't uh, roll that gasket out and it'll help it slide on and off a little bit easier. Okay, so I used the, uh, since I already had the oil pan gasket in there, I used the lower pan bolts to uh, pull the cover down a bit uh, so I could get the proper clearance on the bottom of the uh, align it tool so I could get this in there so that we can position it correctly side to side. Now I'll take the any tension off of these. Okay, uh, so these bottom uh, oil pan bolts get torqued to uh, nine foot pounds. Um, then we'll torque these. All these get torqued to uh, 18. Uh, so we'll torque these first to make sure we've got it pulled down uh, flush on this oil pan. Uh, then we'll torque these in to make sure it's sucked in all the way. Uh, then we'll crank these loose just to make sure there's no uh, tension on these in case uh, that gasket in here compresses just a little bit. We don't want this at an angle. Uh, so we'll crank these loose to relieve any tension and then we'll retorque them again. So that's nine on those. All right, and then we can take all these uh, to 18. So I did nine foot pounds first. You don't have to, but I'm just kind of working my way up. Now we'll do our final torque at 18. All right, uh, I'll probably run through these one more time, but that's our torque sequence. Um, then we'll pull this out and we'll move on to installing the rear main seal. Okay, now we're ready to install uh, the one piece rear main seal. Uh, the updated seal 
goes in a specific way and there's actually writing uh, somewhere on the seal unlikely that you can probably see that but it says this side out um, and it has to do with the direction of the lip uh, it needs to go in a specific way uh, the seal also goes in dry uh, so make sure you wipe off uh, the rear main uh, the back of the crank and the timing cover or rear cover make sure it's clean and then the seal comes with this uh, white piece of plastic it helps it keep its shape and so then we align our tool and we'll use that to drive in the seal we'll use a uh, just a rubber mallet There you go, make sure it's even all the way around. Uh, you can't drive in the seal but so far uh, to begin with, but just make sure it's even, make sure it's all the way seated. And it's that simple. So there we go, we've got our rear cover on and we've got our uh, rear main seal installed. Should be perfectly aligned. We got some gasket over here, uh, some RTV, so hopefully we don't leak in these corners. Uh, everything's properly torqued. So there it is. I uh, hope that you found this helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to uh, post them below. I'll help if I can. And as always, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Uh, that helps me keep making videos. And until next time, thanks for tuning in to Scruff's Garage.